let's talk electrical burns, shall we? Let's talk electrical burns. So when you get an electrical burn, um, normally what happens is the skin contracts very quickly. You tend to you sometimes have a buildup of liquid underneath and you get scorching around the sides. So buildup of liquid, scorching around the sides and um, skin contracts, okay? So one of the things we're going to do today is um, we're going to do a big electrical burn here, which will be, it'll have a, a big kind of blister here and then scorching around the sides. Okay, not to become, so this is a sort of second stroke, third degree burn, okay? But a type of third degree burn. So this is caused, you know, imagine a cable had fallen on here, a live cable and had been sort of electric shock. So we are actually working today with, um, so by the way, I just cleaned my face using a bit of Bond Off and I just get, then gave it a quick uh, micellar water. Um, now we're going to use a bit of, uh, now we're going to go back to our gorgeous uh, Sculpt Gel by Mold Life. Yes. Again, I'm not going to use C because I don't need the working time. Okay. So Juan has set me a challenge. He wanted something bigger. So bigger we're going to go. Kevin Wilson PR. Fabulous PR. West End PR specialist. Hello, Kevin. We're just doing a quick demo on an electrical burn. Okay. So as I don't have my sculpting tools with me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm using some spoons. But one spoon per pot. So that pot is now in use. Get a new pot. B. Give it a good old mix. You see my takeaway palette. <laughs> I see my takeaway. This is how you, you know, this is how you recycle. So electrical burns, ladies and gentlemen, as we said, you get normally the skin contracts very quickly due to the heat, extreme heat, and electrical current, it dehydrates. So you get dehydration, you might get a buildup of liquid as the dermis um, seeps into it, you get a, a blister and you get scorching around the side. So let's see what we can do, shall we? So, here we go, product, let's do my blisters first of all. So blister one. Blister two. Ooh. And now we can start applying the rest. Angie, hello, gorgeous. As you can see, I'm using a spoon today because my tools are not with me. So I am improvising. We're doing an electrical burn. So you see what we're doing? Blisters and the burn all around, okay? And I really want you to keep the blisters neat as possible. Uh, 
guess my blister. Gorgeous Angie effects, she's fabulous. So really working these blisters. Thea, oh, I don't know who the dog's live is, but that's a gorgeous picture of a doggy. Right. So the world of electrical burns, as I said, the skin contracts, the electricity dehydrates. You can get a buildup of fluid, which is the blister, and the skin all around it will be scorched. So that's what we're doing today. Just taking off the silicon of the tools and then we'll start cleaning it. As I said, you've got about five to 10 minutes working time on, on Sculptil, okay? That's five to 10 minutes working time. So there's my blister, there's my burn, and now I'm just going to start tidying up. Sculpt just great. Once you get used to it, you can really create lots of things. I really like it. Really like it. And as I said, if you want to find out more advanced working with Sculpt Jill, go and visit Stuart Bray's demos on Sculpt Jill. He is incredible with it. What I'm now doing is I'm just smoothing out my edges. Because as you know, I love a clean edge. Because today is quite a warm day. The silicon is actually going already. Which is great. I tell you what, I can't wait to have my tools. I wish, Jeff, I should have picked up the tools from the academy. Never mind, my fault. But, you know, you've got to improvise, so that's exactly what we're doing. We are improvising. We are using things that you find at home and some things that you don't. So... Don't be scared of shaping that blister the way you want it, okay? As you can see, the silicon's starting to go, so... <laughs> it is not a crochet hook, don't worry, it's a wax working tool. It does look like a crochet needle, but it's not. And my mother wouldn't be seen dead crocheting. God, she'd kill me if I even suggested that. My mother's a very woman, modern woman. Crochet, knitting, arranging flowers, all that kind of shit, not for her. Jeff, Jeff and Juan know my mother very, very well. And can you imagine Judith crocheting? Or Johnny, can you imagine Judith crocheting? So what we're going to do, we're also going to make a little, at this point, electrical burns, you will get blood, okay? Electrical burns, you do get blood, and that's something I want you to think about. I know, never. My mother crocheted, never. So we've got our blisters there. This area will be scorched. So let's do in the middle, let's do an area where we're going to get some blood out of it. So this is a lovely little tool like that. It's very nice to kind of 
pickup and it's got like a little I don't know if you've seen the things you put in your um when you get your um, honey the kind of honey thing it's got a little shape like that great Angie great for sculpting detail So this area that I'm working on is going to be my more exposed area, which is going to be bloody. But I'm still keeping detail inside, okay? So I just use a little wipe with a bit of alcohol and just smooth out the edge. I just pat my edge and that's what we're looking like. Yeah, so cable fell on me, electrical burn. Okay, so there's the burn itself. So electrical burns, two things to note about them. You might get a blister full, you will get scorching around the edge of the burn. You might get a blister full of liquid because it's rushed to the surface. And you might get a blood blister as well, okay? Because it is quite a deep burn. You know, it's gone through the epidermis, it's gone through to the dermis in this case. Second, approaching third degree, are we approaching the hypodermis? Some electrical burns take you all the way down to the bone, the hypodermis. Subcutaneous layer. So we'll just wait for that to set. And we'll start our lovely painting. Again, you know, if you had to do this on set, you're looking at about 20 to 40, well, 40 minutes working time, you'd have to do it on, you know, you can say to someone, this is going to take about, if you're not applying a prosthetic, you're going to take about 40 minutes. So I'll get a little hairdryer in a minute, just to give it, speed it up, because I don't want to wait. Did we all have a lovely weekend? I hope you did. Hope you did. I don't know about you, but I popped out today and my um, shops, there's shops around me seem to be open. Like, you know, the dry cleaner seems to be back open. The estate agent down the road are opening only by appointment, but they're open. Um, you know, bits and pieces. We're getting back to normality. We're getting back, we'll be getting back. So this is actually gone. Nearly gone. And you see the difference when it's hot, when it's warm, sculpt gel really goes quite quickly, okay? Now you can do this another way. You could do this by getting some derma wax, so that would be your wax. Then you could do latex all around it, including over it, and that could be the other way to do it. In this case, we've chosen to work with sculpt gel, but you could do it with wax and latex. Again, budget dependent. So once that's dry, we'll powder it down and we shall begin the colours. Um, so we are going to start adding some blacks because we have got some scorching, which is very exciting. Oh, too bright. There we go. Move that one. That's better. So there we go. This is what we're looking like. There's my blister. There's my bit in the middle that's gone deeper, that's going to have blood. There's the scorching going to be around it, okay? Electrical burn. It's not quite there, it's still a bit sticky. So let's give it a quick hair dry. There's your hair dryer. Again, for when you're working with prosthetics, as long as your hair dryer does hot and cold, you don't need anything particularly too fancy. Don't use your kind of hair drying hair dryer for it just in case you get it ruined remember you're looking for hot okay or warm
the big thing is don't keep the hair dry there all the time because you might burn the person. Tiny bit sticky still. That will be fine. Okay, let's give it a powder. Let's give it a powder. So, um, so I'm now using Ben Nye Neutral Set. Be quite liberal with it because you want it to all be dry. You can really see the detail of the burn there, can you see? A bit sticky here at the top. Better. Sticky still at the sides. So there you go. That's going to be the basics of our burn. Right. So, oh, there you go. Let us begin with the colour. Now, we first start with a nice, very gentle, today we're going to do everything with um, alcohol palettes. We're going to use these two, yeah, Ben Nye FX Bruce palette and the primary palette. So let's start with a gorgeous pink or light red, okay, so that's going to be my primary red. Use the back of the use the lid of the palette as your mixing powder as your mixing palette. Try not to do it in the blisters themselves, okay? I should have done this side really because it's easier for me to work on, but never mind. Next time. Okay, so that's the, the basics of the bear. Now what I want you to do is I want you to actually colour your blister. I'm using this brush, which is 156. Yeah, there we go. One five six. You get upside down, but one five six by Delium. I am going to go with my golden yellow, which is that yellow there. Which is not as bright as basic yellow, okay? And you can pat the colour in. And you can see, hopefully, it's beginning to build, yeah? It's really important to just w keep working on these layers. Any of you that paint, for example, I know Johnny Hooley paints a lot of watercolour, oil, etc. It's all about building, building the layers.
Now at the moment it's quite yellow, but it will tone down, trust me, once you've built it. Okay. So now we add, I always add a little bit of yellow to burns personally because I quite like the yellow in burns. Already you can see that's beginning to really build, yeah? Yes, yellow and burns, absolutely Angie. Love it. Now notice I am leaving the middle out on purpose. That's the detail you're getting. Yeah? It looks like I've got two bloody eggs in the middle, but don't worry because this will this will calm down. So I'm now using the dark burgundy by Ben Nye, which is kind of my darker bruise colour. Okay, so that's it. That's how it's looking. Now we're going to add some details. So I now go with my very thin 153 and I'm going to use dark burgundy. Notice there are no, there's no blue, there's no green. So now I'm going to add some detailing. So that's the area that the cable hit me, which is the area that's going to have the blood. You see? Yeah, and you just build it up and then we're going to take some colour away just so it blends down in a bit more. It's about adding texture. Your job is to become not makeup artists but texture artists. That is your job. There's never too much texture, but also what I will say to you is learn when to step away from it. You will need to step away from it. And it's important that you do. Because otherwise, you won't ever step away from it. Yeah? And I don't want you stuck on that, oh, it could be better, it could be better, it could be better. So I'm now adding a bit of the brighter red. And just pat it down, just to take it back in a bit. And then what I'm doing, I'm just as you can see. It just brings it back in, it pats it down, it just makes it a little more effective, really. Yeah, can we see what we're doing, where we are? And you just play with tones of red, yellow, 
Learn to work with colour. I can't emphasise enough. Just learn to work with our colour. So, in the middle of this, I'm going to put a bright red spot. And one there as well, actually. So this is my... Just so I know, that's going to be my blood in there. The wrong red at the moment, but don't worry about that. And I think that will be a bit of scorched. So that red is going to be covered in blood, okay? Now, let's add some black. Let's add some black to the colour. Here we go, here we go. And don't be scared of black. Really, don't be scared. Yeah, it needs to look scorched, it needs to look realistic. That's the point. Now be quite localised, sometimes you'll have the shape of the item that hits you, sometimes you won't. Mada, one of my fabulous singing students, Mada Alupo Alupoide, I think, I think you pronounced it, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong Madi. she's fabulous, please check out her Instagram. Today I'm actually about to post, repost some Lady Gaga from her. She has now completed her first year of university. Well done, darling. You can see I'm having to add more yellow now to counterbalance. Hello Treasure Makeup, we're doing an electrical burn. It's all about sculpt gel today. Again. This might answer your question. Oh hang on, Alexa's Thank off. You. Sorry, my Alexa set off. Oh hang on. <laughs> Alexa, no more, thank you. From the constellation of Scorpius. It spans two hundred and ten degrees north. Alexa, switch off. Oh, there we go. Bloody Alexa. For those of you, I love Alexa, but remember to mute her. So electrical burns. So guys, for those of you who joined on the call, we are using um, all my kit. It's my stay at home kit from Treasure House of Makeup. My lockdown specifically designed by me for this lockdown period, containing Meron, Ben Nye, and a little bit of Malt Life. And my brushes are from Delium. So it's all Meron, Ben Nye, Tiny Bit of Mold Life and Delium. Designed by me, available from, from Treasure House. And at the moment, the pro discount at Treasure House is available to everyone. So some of us... Oops. She's dropping everything today. Oh dear, she's dropped a pen. Bear with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just dropping things everywhere. Uh, yes, as I was saying, pro discount available to everyone. Fabulous. Use it, basically. So, don't be scared of black. It's supposed to look scorched. It's supposed to look like this, okay? Now, we're just going to add a bit more detail to our lines. So, I'm going back with my dark burgundy.
and just do the seam between the Now I want to start adding some shadow in. You see the shadow in just adds it, just keep adding. My blisters look a bit like a sausage today, I don't know what happened, but there you go. Don't be too prescriptive, okay? If you're gonna do a line, bodies don't do lovely straight lines. So don't draw the straight line. If you're doing, oh dear, I just drew all over my blister, never mind. Um, if you're doing a line, if you're doing lines of, you know, if, if the skin has been affected by radiation or heat, it will be distorted, it will be broken up. Don't be scared of breaking the skin up. So there you go, we've had me dropping pencils, we've had Alexa talking to me about God knows what. I'm supposed to be portraying the professionalism and look at me. I think I've got my lockdown brain on. So as I said, this is a beginner's lockdown series by Seventa Makeup Academy, by me, who I am the head of SFX at Seventa Makeup Academy, teaching using my lockdown kit from Treasure House of Makeup. Oh, I know, love. I had one of those days yesterday. We all have our days indeed. So can we just see, can we see what we're doing here? Yeah? Blister. I think I'm going to add a bit more black, actually. Now, please. Try to work from reference images if you can, okay? If you don't know what you're doing, try to work from a reference image. Because otherwise, you're not going to achieve the desired effect. Unless you have a biomedical background. Which I happen to do. So there's my epidermis, my dermis, and the middle, there's my subcutaneous layer. So I've gone all the way down. Now, we're now gonna add some gorgeous, we'll go from, we go, we're gonna go for um, coagulated blood by Meron. Coagulated blood by Meron. As Angie described it, we go back to our knitting needles. <laughs> which is actually a wax working tool. I'm also using a comedone remover. I don't know if you, any of you young ones probably won't recognise, but this, you press down like this, like that, and through the little hole pops out your blackhead. They don't do it anymore. So I'm just adding some the areas that I've decided that we've gone deep enough. I 
which again it doesn't have to be all over you know think about think about how the body works okay Right, and now we're going to add a little bit of um, shine to our blister. Now, what we do is we're going to use um, what am I using? Meron sweat and tears. You can use Vaseline if you wish, but I'm using Meron sweat and tears with a little brush, which is going to be my little brush. I tell you what, all FX artists, the amount of IPA we use, there's no way we're going to be contract, well, I won't, I won't jinx it, but you know what I mean. Right, there you go. Now bear with me, because I need to get something. One second. I'm still here, don't go away people. Don't go away, because I need to get something. Um, if I've got it with me, which I don't think I do. What a shame I don't, Never mind. Um, I can't put on what I wanted to put on. So, can't do it. Never mind. Okay. So, so that's that. Um, if I've got it on here, hang on. What I'm seeing, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm actually seeing, if I've got... Now what I'm using here is actually a tiny bit of the Meron primer. But the Meron primer is silicon and it will give me that gorgeous wet look. Yeah? Now you might want a little of that blood to go on to the um you can get a tiny bit of that blood onto that primer like that and there we have it there we go an electrical third degree second stroke third degree burn so electrical third Stroke, second stroke, third degree burn, scorching, could probably add a bit more scorching actually, I'm feeling a bit scorchy today. So uh, now you could add some ash onto this, okay, you could actually add some ash if you wanted to. Now, if you want to break up the top a bit, just break it up a bit with a bit of alcohol and a wipe. And there we have it. And there we have it. Any questions for any of you watching?
you can see the build up you can see how I've built that blister I've got my bit of skin there any questions no well listen have a lovely lovely day um, I hope you've enjoyed the demo as always keep safe keep visiting keep creating and I'll see you very soon take care bye bye